So this story begins in the middle, halfway across the planet. I think that I'm awake. Last night at dusk, I took a red eye across the Atlantic. I landed on the first morning of summer in Europe. For the last 47 hours, it's been day. I think I might be dreaming, but I'm not sure. I'm in Paris for a festival of young contemporary choreographers from Africa. By the grace of God, I get to watch. It's one of the perks I've managed to convince the whole performing arts machine that I am both high art and hip hop. Shh, <laughs> don't tell them. <laughs> I am stuck. I'm in between. I'm in the last row of the audience falling up, waking dream. In Paris, I represent my country in the flesh. I am the surrogate for Allen Iverson and 50 Cent. But what good is a black man in America if stripped of his right to threat? How hip hop can I be if they let me on today's set? Anyway, I'm at this festival. <laughs> on the first day, there's this woman from South Africa, right? And she does this joint where she puts on this like, uh, costume Easter bunny head type thing, and like red and white, uh, pippy long stocking tights, and a red converse, and a, uh, a uh, point shoe and a tutu, and she does this thing where she climbs in and out of a plastic bag um, for like, I don't know, like half hour. <laughs> okay, and then she um, goes into the audience with saran wrap and she puts the thing, saran wrap, over people's mouths and she kisses them for like another 15 minutes, <laughs> and then that's it, and then it ends. In my head, the image of South Africa is fixed on apartheid. Stephen Biko, Robin Island. In my head, it is always the late 80s, and Nelson Mandela is the first person I ever truly, truly wanted to be free the first major metaphor for liberating me. The triangle of perspective is crazy. I'm looking at this African woman for some sense of group. She's looking at European performance art trading in a mandala for a frayed pink tutu, and Europeans always been looking at me. Ever since my name was Langston, Satchmo, since the days when they bred me, I'm the descendant of an experiment in psyche and body, a fetish taking my place in line Fractured, wondering when this woman's history stopped being mine. I've been flying for the last 40 some hours. I have no sense of time. I'm just wondering which one of us is sleep. And which one of us is tired. And then, exactly right then, I fall. This story begins in the middle halfway across the planet. I think that I'm awake. 